again I have started a tea vlog without picking the topic in advance. As you might have inferred if you'd watched all the previous tea vlogs, I have issues with self-confidence. So I'm sitting here being like, what can I talk about? And coming up with a bunch of ideas where my brain immediately goes, no, you don't know enough about that, and pitches in the men. Um, uh... The Pico 8 game I'm working on is going well. There's been a couple locked Patreon posts for the three people on Patreon. Um, and uh, I sent my dad some work in progress screenshots and he was very impressed. It's really uh, uh, energizing. Yeah. Part of why I've been part of what I went into Pico 8 because of is connected to how I've been interacting with the community which is I poke my head in and I'm like here's the thing I did or I poke my head in and I'm like, that thing you did, that's really cool. And I don't like, like I am not developing my game with the community. And I'm not going to the IRC channel or the Discord or the Slack or the whatever or the Reddit for advice. Um... I guess, like, I'm approaching this kind of as a lurker, which I think is a really comfortable way to learn. It is, instead of, instead of learning with, like, your metaphorical mouth open, by having conversations and being in front of other people doing the thing while people are telling what while, while and, 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 and having those conversations in real time it's I am reading people's stuff. I'm doing my own reading, doing my own thinking, and building stuff that way. It's... It's both a bit, it feels a bit safer, because if you screw up, then, like, I mean, it's, you get a lot farther before you put your, put yourself out there and, like, venture anything. It's also just easier for me, because, like, I don't feel like I'm being a burden on people. 
It's like when I show up, I'm not showing up to be like, hi, how do I do this thing? Which, you know, is fine. But like, uh, something, something emotional neglect. Uh, I'm just gonna categorize that under something, something emotional neglect. If you want to do research on that, then, um, I think there's stuff out there if you, like, look for emotional neglect. Um, but yeah, like, uh, uh, I don't have to ask for people's help because their public statements are the help that they've given me. Right, I was going to do an experiment. I've been brewing my black tea with boiling water. I'm going to brew it with water that's a little bit under boiling. And see if that makes it less tanniny. Because I've noticed that I like a less tannin flavor with this cardamom black tea. So. Lower temperatures associated with less tannins, lower temperatures associated with less tannins in, um, green tea, so, this experiment, the, today's experiment is just completely uncontrolled, but, like, in the future, I'll probably try doing it, filling it from, like, to the point two, because I have one liter of water that I boil, and then adding uh, tepid water to get bring it up to the point two, one point two, and then see how that goes. Because for for um, green tea, I bring it up to one point four, one point five. with your mouth shut, I guess that's what a, this vlog is called, um, learning with your mouth shut is also handy when it comes to stuff like, uh, marginalizations, because the big thing, I think, a big thing that everybody should realize about being privilege on some axis, that is to say, being in the group of people that the marginalization of a different group is supposed to help. So being white with respect to race, or being uh, male with respect to gender, or being cis with respect to uh, the, the, the whole... Um, this trans thing. Uh, everybody's going to be because, like, I mean, if to some extent or another, because you can't escape it, it like the 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 pyramid of privilege is just kind of a spider web of nonsense and the point being if you're not in a marginalized group then you have been taught lies about that marginalized group uh usually not explicitly sometimes explicitly usually not explicitly uh but you have like there was a joke someone made which is like uh like, 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 um, where it's like, oh, hey, we're going to joke about making movies that, that, that are, like, incredibly mundane thing, but you never see it. And this was, like, a movie which opens with Muslims praying at a mosque and isn't about terrorism. It's horrible how rare that is. Is I haven't seen any. 
Dyke. Although, suggestion, Nazruddin Hoja? That could be a fun movie. It's just like a Nazruddin Hoja movie. Anyway, um, is he Muslim? Like, I'm, I think he was Muslim. I'm gonna be really embarrassed if he's not. But whatever religious denomination, like religious practice, culture he fell into, that would be a really fun movie. Um, I think... I think I would want to cast someone who just sort of, like, exudes, uh, like, like, innocence or something. Uh, someone, someone who just seems like the chillest person and is messing with people and you just wouldn't expect it. Anyway, um... But the point is, with respect to marginalization, you have been taught lies. I've been taught lies about marginalized groups I have, I am a part of. Like, everybody gets taught lies. And, like, if you're in the marginalized group, then you're more likely to be confronted with the lie, confronted with the fact that they're lies. If you're not, you're less likely. But, like, the point is, if you're learning with your mouth shut, then you aren't repeating the lies and you aren't like drawing yourself into any like you're not you're, you're not painting yourself into a feeling cornered like you're not but it feels like you are when you make when you say stuff and you feel like you have to defend it. It is apparently so rare for someone to be like, I'm sorry, I was out of line, that people comment on it when I've done that in my conversations online. It's... That should not be rare. Just a thing to think about. I don't know. Uh, learning better... Like, learning you were wrong is a positive because now you have a chance to do better. Point being, learning with your mouth closed is less emotionally exhausting and it's easier um, for people who, who, who find it comfortable. I'm sure that there's ways in which people find it uncomfortable. But, like, for a lot of people, it's just a really good life hack to, you know... Follow blogs and just listen. Click through the links. Don't even leave a comment. Just be one of those invisible people who's who hears people saying things and it's like, huh. Yeah. It's less emotionally fraught and you're less liable to make painful mistakes. It's a good strategy. <laughs> and I've been doing it even in a case which is not fraud at all, which is learning how to make a video game with a specific toy. Uh, it's not a toy, it's a specific thing. It, it's super restrictive. It's really, really weird trying to work with restrictions. But yeah, anyway. I think that's enough ramble for a vlog. Have a good one.